So guys, before we get started, don't forget we do have that amazing discount code, thanks to Tier Zero Games, going on right now. And all you have to do is put in ZW Games 5 to get 5% discount on your total order at tierzerogames.com. The links will be in the description below. What's up YouTube, Dad here from Z4 Games. Um, and as most of you know, I put a poll out on Thursday for what deck I should play this weekend, and you guys all voted for Shadows. So this is basically my um, locals report of playing Shadows. I took it to two locals this weekend, did okay in both of them. Um, locals one was at Cock Fosters, and I went two wins, two losses. Did not go well at all. Lost to Spiral, uh, and then lost to Cyber Dragons in time because I used Trick Clown. Um, and then I took it to my local today in Stevenage and got third place. Um, and again, I kind of drew a game too many, basically, on that one, which is a bit disappointing. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it through the profile. I'm going to make it quick because I've already pretty much profiled the majority of this deck. And then I'll talk to you through what I would take out. A very, very spicy tech that Carl mentioned, me today, uh, mentioned to me today. And explain why this deck is getting so much hype moving into Master Rules. So, or well, Master Rule 5, it's now officially been announced. So, let's take you through the monsters straight up. Um, again, I've kept the ratios of twos to Wendy. I don't... There was times where I was either seeing all the monsters and no spells or no Shadows. So, I, that's something I'll definitely be looking into um, moving forward on this one. Double Hedgehog, it's a couple of times I was like, damn, I really need you right now just to give me the spell. Uh, and the track card's really, really good, so I'm tempted to bump that up as well. Uh, double Falco, Double Skormata, um, and then finishing off the actual Shadow Monsters, we've got the single uh, Dragon, single Beast, and single uh, Aerial. Now, Aerial is not that great. Like I like it as a card. If you can disrupt, if you can... The graveyard effect is what you want to abuse. The uh, the scent effect is what you want to abuse. Now you can do that by going into construct, send this. Being able to banish free, put in so much work today, it was crazy. Um, but if I opened it up, it kind of sucked. Like it really, really didn't help me. I'd rather send this off. I've got like make construct during my opponent's turn, send this, and banish the graveyard, uh, and that actually causes them more problems uh, than anything else. Really, really cool card. Uh, really, really like it. I wouldn't play more than one of it. Um, Beast, I wouldn't play more than one of it. It can be a massive brick. Uh, Dragon, I may play more than one of it. Um, it was good. I used its flip effect once today, um, and then I kind of misplayed in one of the games, and that kind of threw me off. But, yeah, I, I don't want to bump any of these ratios up. I think the ratios with this right now is quite fine. Um, I don't think any of them need to be at free, in my personal opinion. Um, because again, you only really need these as a law fodder, uh, and that's one thing I learned today is like the amount of times I had to blind the law was not good. Um, so that's where I might consider bumping dragon up. Uh, if anything, I was gonna if I was gonna do anything, I would bump the dragon up to two, um, but I wouldn't want to increase any of the others to to more than that. Uh, and that's just my opinion. So that's it for the Shadol cards or Shadol monsters. Then we have got double mathematician. This is pretty much the only main normal summon of the deck. Um, all the other ones you want to be set in. And the only reason this is good uh, is because you do this, you can send Wendy, uh, Wendy, Wendy. Uh, that will then trigger to special summon you a um, Shadow Monster face down. Now, obviously, if you have a fusion card in hand, you can go into a Shekinaga and move your place further forward from there. Um, not the best. I did find myself signing this out quite a lot. Uh, and this is probably where the dragon would come in and maybe an Armageddon Knight, just so I have another dark target for a lore. Trick Clown, standard on that one. Uh, hand traps, double Ash Blossom, and double DD Crow. Uh, very, very cool cards. Crow, again, just as a, a lore target. Uh, and then being able to, if you don't have the aerial play, Crow effect is actually really, really good right now. And Ash Blossom just for genericity. But again, arguably, if you take out another math, you put um, Ash Blossom up to three. The Kaijus, we got the one Dogoran, the one Kamongus, the one Thunder King, and the one Gamasil. These put in so much work today. Um... One of the biggest weaknesses of this deck that I found was going first, purely because you need to open up three cards just to try and make a window to then stun your opponent enough. Now it can be done, and there were plays that were being used to do that. Uh, the one thing I might actually change in this is swap out the Dogaran for a Riding, just so I've got another dart target. That also being said, I do play Super Poly, uh, and I found myself again today not being able to fulfill it. Like I could fulfill it quite nicely. But there was a couple of times when I played like Heroes and Orcus, I was like, 
I wish I had Starving Venom in the extra. Uh, so that's definitely something that I'll be looking towards um, as well for the extra deck is putting in like just a generic target. Um, and again, it's, it's just something that I, I want to play around with. I want to change up uh, and kind of move further forward that way as well, just to give you another option. I'll show you exactly what I'll take out when I get there as well. Uh, Triple Shadow Fusion. Absolutely insane. Love this card. Shame that um, the Destiny Fusion's kind of outdone this card because the Destiny Fusion just sends from deck to graveyard anyway. This would have been cool if it just said send from deck to graveyard, lock yourself into Shadow Monsters. Um, but the fact that your opponent has an extra deck monster. The issue with this is it clashed so many times with uh, Interactive Kaiju Slumber. There was a couple of times where I like, do I slumber them and they're not going to have a monster from the extra deck? Or do I Shadow Fusion um, and hope that what I bring out on the board is good enough? 9 out of 10, I was actually Kaiju Slumbering them uh, and then hard summoning with the Shadow Fusion because it gives you um, a Kaiju of the attribute you want onto the board. Uh, and then you can, as long as you've got Shadow Monster in hand, you can use Shadow Fusion. And I'll, I'll try to show you a combo towards the end, but basically the way you want to work this is you make your first Construct because they're not hard ones per turn. So, um, you make your Construct, you send, you link it away into the Cross Heap. Cross Heap then, uh, or con Construct lets you add back the Shadow Fusion, um, but the Construct you'd ideally want to do is send the other Fusion that you haven't used, like the Quick Play, um, <clears throat> and then when Construct goes, you add the Quick Play back, play that, make a new Fusion monster, Cross Heap brings back a level 4 or lower, um, and then if you do link up again, uh, you can add back the Quick Play for a third, uh, for a second time, set it, and then you've got a win to play, and hopefully a IP play during your opponent's turn as well. Uh, insane card, Triple Super Poly. Um, like I said, the only downside to this was I did not have um, a card in my extra deck that would have gone, okay, I'm going to rip my opponent's board apart. Um, literally, with the way this works right now is I can pick a board, uh, pick apart my opponent's board just by going, alright, cool, I'll take that one specifically card. Um, so that was one downside, and I'll definitely change that up. True Allure of Darkness, really, really good draw card for this deck. Uh, like I said, I lost a bit of consistency in this deck purely because the amount of times I had to blind a lore um, was not good. Um, so it's definitely something I'll be looking into adding more darks to the deck. Double Mystic Mind, again, this puts so much work in, and the only reason I'm playing Mystic Mind is purely for the decks like Spirals, like um, anything that like, like build my board and break it. I have a way to maintain board resource. And then if you combo this off with Winder, because Winder's, uh, you can only special on once per turn, is a continuous effect, and so is its destruction effect. If you do this and Winder, um, Winder's still floating, so it's still a very, very nice lock. The only issue with that is Winder can only then start poking away, and it doesn't really do a lot for you. Um, so there was a couple of times where I actually, these are the reasons that I drew as well, is I dropped this on my opponent when they only had one monster, just because I'd had a bit of a brick hand and I only opened up this. Um, and then in turn, it just took way too long to um, kind of do anything. So that was kind of my downfall. Uh, I would still keep it in as a go second and probably take it out. But it's just good because it allows you to stun your opponent, maintain your resource and move further forward from there. Uh, Avarice, because I put so much into the graveyard, uh, Avarice is actually quite nice. Especially if I blind the lore and it goes wrong. Uh, as long as I've got an Avarice set, this can actually help you quite nicely. Uh, the one quick play Shadow Fusion, I love this card, it's actually really, really good, putting quite a lot of work. And like I said, it's the combo with uh, Construct that, you, 9 out of 10, what you're doing with Construct is you want to be using Squamata as the fusion fodder, like the Dark Shadow Monster. So the Construct can send this or the trap. And then with the Squamata, it sends the Wendy to give you an additional monster on board. And then all you've got to do is have another fusion card in hand, or a fusion spell in hand, in order to, or well, you don't need that, you just need to get two monsters on board that face up. Link away the construct and the face down or uh, the face monster, monster you've normal summoned, and then you'll be stuck with a face down monster that Wendy is special summoned, um, and then your construct would add back the quick play. You then play the quick play, taking away um, the face down monster on the board that you just summoned off for of Wendy, and then another monster. That will allow you to be like window or construct, um, and then you trigger the effects off again from there uh, and get further plays on top of that. Uh, and the one foolish burial Shadow deck, everything you send, you're going to get a bit of a plus off of. And then the one Resh Shadow um, Incarnation, I actually really, really like this card. I underestimated it when it first came out. It's kind of like, ah, it's not great. Um, the special summon effect, like the Call of the, Grave, uh, Call of the Haunted effect, is really, really nice. Um, but it's more the graveyard effect, because not a lot of people think about it and forget about it when it, get, when it goes to the grave. The fact that it's, because it's a track card, it's practically a quick effect. 
if you've got a dragon face down, or even if you use, uh, like, if you flip Falco and Falco brings back a um, Winder, you could quick play banish this, flip the Winder. Um, now, if your opponent can't get past it, I know Winder's only like 900 defense, but if you're able to protect it or stop it happening, you can do this. The better one is like Beast can give you a two draws um, and then discard one, but then you banish this and flip up a dragon, and that's a nice little compulse straight away. So, a really, really cool card. I Like I said, I underestimated it. I'll probably put it at two. Really, really like it. It just sucks if you open it because if you open it and you can't get Shadol to the grave, uh, it can really, really slow you down. Moving on to the extra deck, um, we have for the Link Fours, we've got the Avramax. This is your defensive play, and you've got your Borosaur, which is your aggressive play. Now, this actually won me quite a lot of games, and I'm glad I put it in at the last minute. Very, very good card, very, very powerful, very, very useful. Uh, the one Unicorn, the one Phoenix. And the one Shadol Construct, I actually made this once uh, and it did really well because I, I just wasn't getting into a fusion spell. Made this, used the effect to fuse using itself, made a monster. And then you contribute off or you sack off one of your Shadows, bring it back. Um, so I actually, again, really, really like this card. Did a lot to, to the day. IP Mascarina. Um, again, it's just a way of getting rid of like... So let's say you've got Cross Heap. Make Cross Heap, and then if you get rid of two monsters to go into your IP, you have your IP and your Cross Heap. Straight away during your opponent's main phase, that gives you the access to either Unicorn, Phoenix, or straight into an indestructible Avramax. Not to mention that if you've got the Quick Play spell set, you also have the ability to Quick Play that, um, make like a Winder, or a Winder, sorry, with your Avramax, and you can really, really stun your opponent, so it does a lot of work. Uh, Cross Heap, what more needs to be said about this card? Absolutely busted. Such a nice card. Um, the amount of times I actually fusion summoned to a zone and then revived back a level 4 LR, like Dragon or um, Squamata, just to get that additional damage off, or again, just to extend the Boral Sword was like invaluable. Absolutely amazing. Uh, then for the Shadow Monsters, for the one offs, um, I did play, where are you? The one Apocaline never went into it, probably could have been a good one to go into a couple of times, but. Um, didn't really ever have sh two Shadol monsters. I nine out of ten wanted to super probably using my opponent's monster, um, and the, the cards that I could have negated stuff like Babel or um, <coughs> sorry guys, um, like any of the hero monsters that I faced up against. It wasn't really worth it. I'd rather go into a window. Uh, Grista made this once, never used its effects. Um, it probably doesn't need to be in here to be honest. Double Shekinaga don't need to. This can easily be replaced with like Starving Venom. Hands down. The only Shadol cards, you, uh, Shadol fusions you need for two of is Double Winder uh, and Double Construct. Like, these two are bay. So, so good. Winder is incredible, um, especially against like a sleeper. They have to run into it to get rid of it. Um, and then Construct again. Um, like, people forget, it's, it, like, people that haven't played Shadows or weren't around you in the Shadol format forget how good this card is. So, when people like were attacking into it and it was a special monster, you just go, alright, cool. Your monster's destroyed. So it was very, very cool. Um, and then if it's sent again, you get to add. And because neither of them are hard ones per turn, every time it's fusion summoned, you get to send. Uh, and then every time it's sent, you get to add. So very, very cool card. Very, very powerful. Um, you know, so, so glad this card's back. Moving on to the extra deck. Um, we played triple evenly matched. Never put it in. Never, ever, 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 ever put it in. Probably should have done. Never did. Uh, I was stuck for space, so I cut the Sanctum down to two uh, with one Scythe. And the only time I ever saw this was when I was under Mystic Mine. So I was like, alright, cool, draw, set, pass, draw, set, pass, and eventually I drew into the Scythe. I was like, alright, cool, dead card. Uh, double Twin Twisters, uh, put it in a couple of times, never used it. Double Droll, um, just for a spiral matchup that never came. Double Nibiru, uh, again, never used it. And Triple Lightning Storm. Again, the only one that actually... I think the only side deck card that actually got used uh, was Lightning Storm. Um, it's not worth the hype. It really isn't. Um, I'd much rather play like a Dark Hole or a Geki or like... Bring, give me back Heavy Storm. Uh, anyway, that's it for the main deck. So a nice little Dark Magician tech for this deck that I advise you guys to get. Boom! Quintet and Magicalized Fusion. So shout out to Carl who mentioned this to me. I was just like, he was just like, yeah, you do realize you can play this. And I was like... Oh yeah, they're all spellcasters. Duh. Um, so your Apocaline is a spellcaster, your Winder is a spellcaster, and then every single Shadow monster that you play, um, including your Trick Clown, your Mathematician, uh, your Beast, your Dragon, your Schemata, your Falco, your Hedgehog, um, are all spellcasters. So 
boom, getting this effect off, um, using five spell castle monsters with different names is actually a lot easier than you think. Uh, so this is definitely a card that I'm going to be putting in. And like I said, I take out a Shek that goes into a um, Starving Venom. Uh, I can knock out an, an Avramax to replace this as a boss monster. And you've got the Magical Ice Fusion. So the only issue is getting to this card. But just a very, very nice little tech to play around with. And I really, really like it. Being able to use and abuse Dark Magician in um, Shadows. Like, why not? Anyway. Uh, that is it for the video. I hope you, I hope you, hope you like this. I, mean, I appreciate you guys voting for it. Um, if you do, I will be putting another part next Thursday for you guys to vote for the deck you would like me to play at the locals. And if you all, if, if you like that idea, then what I'll do is I'll keep doing these videos on like a Monday, just so you guys can kind of see um, where I go with the decks and and what I choose to play and how I chose to play it. Uh, and like I said, I, I I'm gonna. With these, I'm going to tell you a lot more of what I would change, where I'd change it, and, and stuff like that. And definitely, definitely, I learned my lesson with this one this weekend that I tried to avoid the um, the invoked version, uh, but the invoked version is only going to get better as it goes. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. And until next time, guys, as always, happy dueling. So guys, before we get started, don't forget we do have that amazing discount code, thanks to Tier Zero Games, going on right now. And all you have to do is put in ZW Games 5 to get 5% discount on your total order at tierzerogames.com. The links will be in the description below.